What it is, y'all. It's your boy Chicago Dave, and we're getting live once again, baby. Jesus swag. It's the full story of life crushed into four minutes. The entirety of humanity in the palm of your hand crushed into one sentence. Listen, it's intense, right? God, our sins, paying everyone life. The greatest story ever told that's hardly ever told. God. Yes? God. Yes, God. There's a reason I lift my hands. There's a reason I use my name. There's a reason I lift my voice. There's a reason I yes, live for God. There's a reason I lift my hands. There's a reason I use my name. There's a reason I lift my voice. There's a yes. reason I Anybody want to trust in the Lord himself? Anybody want to learn how the Lord has dealt with the people in the past? How the Lord has felt about the things that we do just to get more wealth? I think it's time that you take your Bibles off the shelf. Stop following the path of everyone else and let Jesus be the way that you find yourself. Come on. swag I'ma tell y'all why I believe in Christ when I was on the road straight to a dead end didn't know where I was headed facing 25 in life in the penitentiary had no one to call on but God and when I called on him Save me. Bound by the chains of sin, shackled down, but I still made my way to the foot of the cross. It was then I made amends, washed and cleansed by the blood of love. God showing me to save me. Bound by the chains of sin, shackled down, but I still made my way to the foot of the cross. It was then I made amends, washed and cleansed by the blood of love. God showing me to save me. Bound by the chains of sin, shackled down, but I still made my way to the foot of the cross. It was then I made amends, washed and cleansed by the blood of love. God showing me to save me. Save me, save me You better get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get the life right or you'll be burning the flame You better get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get the life right or you'll be burning the flame Get waited or get left behind Coming back for us one more time. Come yeah. as soon as the return of the uh -huh. king. You better get your life right again. Yeah. Burning the flames. I'm trying to let the world know his name. You don't want to get left behind with a kid from growing pain. Come as soon as the return of the king. And I ain't talking about the Lord of the Rings, but the God of all things. Forget about the cause and the bling. You'll never make it in the kingdom if your heart isn't clean. I know sometimes it gets hard to maintain But with your problems up the God who'll do his part in exchange Clean you inside a new heart and a brain And set your mind free so you ain't caught up in chains Or down in hell straight hopping in flames All you feel like the last name of Martin is pain Anyone who says my God is the king They got one of these two issues either lost or insane So why you in the club making it rain You can find me up in the church house praising his name you better get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get the light right or you'll be burning the flames Get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as 
as soon as the return of the king, you better get your life right and you'll be burning your lane. My advice, get with it or fall back. And you don't wanna let the devil in your ball cap. You think you all that, like Nickelodeon. My king's coming back like a custodian. He's gonna clean up everything we messed up. And put sin to sleep like Blue Nesta. Pressure, so you ready for the homecoming. He's taking back what's his like when you loan something. And if you want something, you need to get sober. After a minute in hell, you wanna get polar. You wish that it's over, but it's eternity. Yeah, forever and ever, that's what's concerning me. Don't want y'all burning beef. It's like the Bush Act. No kids left behind. Wish it was true facts. But it's not, cause the truth remains. If you don't get with Christ, you'll be roofed in flames. You better get ready or get left behind. Jesus is coming back for us one more time. Come as soon as the return of the king. You better get your life right or you'll be burning in flames. Get ready or get left behind. Coming back for us one more time, one more time. Come as soon as the return, man. You better back. get your life uh -huh. right and you're yeah. burning the flame. Like you better get with it or get stuck in the past. You gon' see the last first, and the first will be last. Jesus Christ is coming back in a flash, and that fast, you'll be held back like a fell crash. They say you need a master degree or a bachelor. My dad's the only master you need. Why? Cause he controls the land and the sea So let him drive while you relax up in the passenger seat Fast in your seat Cause you gon' have to die for this thing If you ever wanna spot up in the sky with the king I ain't broke but as far as the bank goes I never heard a person bringing bills to the gate So stop playing like your life is a game show If you ain't saved you gon' burn with a flame flow Struggling trying to find an escape goat Can't know Hell ain't got a fire escape You better get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get your life right or you'll be burning in flames Get waited or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get your life right or you'll be burning in flames Get waited or get left behind Coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get your life right or you'll be burning in flames Get rid of or get left behind Jesus is coming back for us one more time Come as soon as the return of the king You better get your life right or you'll be Jesus swag. Look at you, man. Look, look at me. Look I'm trying you. to tell you. Please look at, look at me. This new deal for me, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That's my wife right there. Hey, baby. Hey. My wife. I see you. Right. What you want to do? You want to get somebody fine, that's for sure. <laughs> probably, probably ain't supposed to say that on crazy. <laughs> Man, well, listen, what, what, what I want to say to you, man, is that I'm very honored that for now 16 years, 16 long years we've been friends, and, and, and what, what, what makes me so proud is that I've had the chance to just be part of your journey and, and, and be part of your process, and I've come to your office and, 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 and your crib. I mean, Steve got Bibles in the bathroom. Steve got, Steve got scriptures all over the toilet, you know. Yeah. Steve got some little, you know, how your mama gets them handkerchiefs that got little Jesus symbols on them, you know. It's like after a while it become a little too much, and I'm like, some of this I'm gonna have to throw away for Steve. He got too, he got too much stuff. But, 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 but what I'm proud of is that, you know, just like any babe in Christ, it's like, you know, how it was when you first came to the Lord and you just excited and you're on fire. And you know, you were excited, you say, you know what, I ain't listening to no more this kind of music, I'm not doing this and doing that, and you were so on fire, and then, you know, sometimes, <laughs> so, sometimes, I, I, have, I haven't said that yet. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that journey, sometimes that journey, whether you went to a church, and it was a church, you know, that hurt you. Or, or it, was, it was a Christian family member that, that, that didn't show you the kind of love that you wanted to. What my prayer is, my prayer for us as a body, as a body, like Paul said, those of us that should be off of the milk and now on the solid food, my prayer for us is, is that we hit our knees 
and we really send up beautiful prayers that this man who has been in front of millions one way, that God will cover him and just love him. And that when we stand before the Lord, when we stand before the Lord, that the Lord will pull you to the side and say, I'm very proud of you for praying for him when everybody else talked about it. And so that's what I'm very excited about. But I gotta tell you, see Curry, <coughs> you were, oh, Kirk was really instrumental for me, you know, because like I said in the intro, he was the first gospel artist that I had met that made me feel like I could be a part of that. See, I got saved March 23rd, 1973. You understand? That's when I got saved. But now I went to college, man. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't go to no parties when I first got to college. And then after about six months, I didn't miss no parties. You know, I, ain't, I ain't miss a one, man. And then I started throwing them. You know, I, 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 I was all the way in it, man. And so, you know, a lot of stuff happened in my life transpired. I, and it's what old people say, you backslide. You know, I, I didn't know what that was. I just I just fell off. You know, I, I quit going, man. And, and I got deep into my career and what I do for a living. And uh, that that battle became rough for me. And, you know, uh, 11 years ago, well, I met you in Baltimore uh, one night. You were performing. Uh, in Baltimore, and I was performing in Baltimore. We were in two different venues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me when I tell you we was in two different venues. And we met at this restaurant, and we were sitting up there, and it was the first time I had met uh, a Christian dude like Kirk, and you had a sense of humor, because we were sitting up there eating dinner, and you had a sense of humor, man. You was laughing, and you was telling jokes, and you was doing imitations of people at the church, and I was going, wow. Because I didn't even really know, I hadn't even wrote a church joke yet because I was so afraid of church people. I mean, you did, man, and you, 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 you changed that for me. You got a sense of humor. And then you told me, hey, man, it's all right. You're going to make mistakes. I didn't know that. I didn't know church people made mistakes. I had been set up the whole time. You got to believe this how it works. We believe you, but, but, but Steve, we believe you. There are people in this, uh, in this room and people watching that were raised in certain denominations that if you wore a certain lipstick color, we were going to hell. There are certain people that are watching. See, 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 so you're not by yourself, my dog. What, what I hate is, is that we, we put y'all on certain pedestals and make y'all exceptions. It's a lot of people in this, there are pastors and choir members in this, I mean, all over this world that they were taught bad theology and they were not given, they were not given the fullness of scripture. We were not taught, we were not taught that when, when you get saved, salvation solidifies you for eternity. But, we, but what we were not taught is the process called sanctification. We were not taught sanctification. So see, we were not taught, we were not taught. See, 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 some of us went to church, to churches that when you come to the altar and you slob and speak in tongues, that that's it. And everything's supposed to be over. But if you got girl problems, if you got boy problems, if you got both problems, whatever problems you got, if you don't get up, and as Paul says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, all you're going to do is get up sweaty with stinking breath. Now that's it. And so what, what I'm glad about is that we are now enjoying your sanctification process. And, 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 and this is what I want to say to you. What I want to say to you is because there's no secret about my sin. I've been very transparent about a lot of my sins. And, and, and let me tell you, they were sins. They were sins. They were not shortcomings. No. They were sins. Yeah, all the way sin. in. Yeah. They were sins. I lived in sin. I was doing gospel music and I lived in sin. And I did not like the life I lived, but I was in sin. I was in sin. And it wasn't until I acknowledged it as sin that God committed me. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? A doctor can only heal what we reveal. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? See, see, see. If you go to a doctor's office, to see, you gotta play a part, Steve. When you go to the doctor's office, the first thing he'll say is, tell me where it hurts. So that means that you gotta play a part. Yeah. He ain't gonna be feeling all on you. If he's feeling on you, he's nasty. He need to be doing something else anyway. If he's feeling all on you, yeah. if he say, tell me, he gonna say, tell me where it hurts. And then you gotta be able, and if you say nothing, I'm fine. Then guess what? You gonna leave out sick. 
But what I'm proud of you, man, is you saying, God, against thee and thee only, am I jacked up? And only you, the chief physician, the chief doctor, right. can make Steve right again. Right. And I'm so proud. But see, man, so proud here's, 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 here's what helps. Here's how you help. And here's how you help a lot of people. And this is the type of person I, 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 I want to try to become. You dig? It's like this here. Um, okay. When you, when you talk to Christians and, and you, you know, man, there's a lot of people, everybody come from a church. Everybody. Ain't nobody. I know all the rappers I know come from the church. Come from church. But what happened is when you meet church folk, you talk only about the washed up part. I've been washed, I'm, and you discuss the washed up part, and you talk about this. Well, the dude that's got dirt on him, maybe he's so got so much dirt, he's so yeah. far away, yeah. he don't really see himself being that spotless. Yeah. You know, yeah. y'all roads yeah. be squeaky white. <laughs> you know, where mine is pinstripe, I got pimp gold on it, I, there's some dirt on the hem. I ain't been to church in a while, but you talk about only the washed up part. Yeah. What you did to me was, you told me about the part before you got washed up. Cause that's the part I was in. See, I was in the unwashed up part. You understand? Like, I don't never tell nobody I'm all the way right. Cause I don't know who, I ain't met that person yet. Neither. But Neither. when you told me about the part where you wasn't washed up, yeah. then I started listening. Because now, okay, now, okay, you wasn't washed up, but you got a little cleaned up, but you still tripping, okay? I can do that. Wow. See, I can do that. I cannot do, I cannot do the squeaky clean washed up dude routine now. Cause dog, I'm out here wildin' for real. Right. You know, I was right. on tour, man. I was, man, my life, man, it was crazy, man. 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 <laughs> I, I ain't gonna, you know, but I will. No, see, cause I asked God. Cause every time I come on this show with Donnie, man, Donnie be just breaking me up so bad. But you know, man, it's it's like a, it's like when you're saying something you ain't used to saying, it's a relief. Oh man, it's just, a, man. I mean, yo, man, I, I'm here. You know, let me let me just encourage you, let you know that that I don't know nobody in this room that don't have a family member that if they could, if they could, they would put that family member in that back bedroom, that 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 far back bedroom, and lock that door and never let that crazy uncle ever out. And so and so, just know, man, that 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 there are people in here. There are a lot of people in this family that you're part of that we will tell you very close. You know, you know, we, see, 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 here's my problem. My problem is, is that you got bad politicians, you got bad police officers, but we're still voting and we're still stopping at red lights. It seems that the church is the only thing that people want to get rid of when something bad happens. We don't get rid of all these other institutions when something bad happens. You know what I'm saying? All these other, all these other things we continue to do. So what I'm saying to you is that I believe that the more you sing all of this holier than thou stuff fall, you're gonna see more people like all these beautiful people out here that 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 are standing up saying the church is a hospital. And well, people don't go to hospital. Sick people are supposed to be in hospital. And I want to let you know, my brother, that you got me. And you got a million people. You got an army, my dude. Well, you know that so, that See, I'm gonna tell you, and you know, and that's and that's very real, because you know I've, I've been going through a lot lately with my family, man. You know I was getting my reputation and stuff was getting ate up, 
uh, for early part of this year of just an, a vicious attack. And I didn't understand where it was coming from. And I didn't even know how to fight it, because how you fight something, you, you just go and look at what? I didn't, that ain't what I did. That ain't who I am. But it just keep coming. I can't, I ain't going into it. But a lot of people, I've been going through something. Gotcha, gotcha. That's when I learned that what you saying is true. Man, I can't tell you the emails I got on steveharvey.com. The people that I don't even know that were stopping me in the airport going, hey man, keep your head up. Wow. God know the truth about you. Man, we love you. Man, we praying for you. It's prayer got me through this. See, prayer cold piece of work, man. I, I didn't really, I, I, I said I like how you but, but you know, man, this been the, That's nice. I like this that. been the worst period in my entire career. But it's been the best time in my life. Cause I'ma tell you, man, what he made me go through on, so man. I could learn some stuff. Come about on, man. Come on. See, what he do is, if you stay still, this is the first time in my life I ever let him handle something. I ain't never done that. Hey dog, cause look here, man. I'm a fighter for sure. You say something to me, I say something back. I got a microphone. I talk to seven and a half million people every morning. You want to do me, I do you. But uh, Bishop Ullman told me, he said, the reason this is happening to you now is because God knows you to handle it the wrong way five years ago. And see, five years ago, you'd have done the wrong way. But now, since you're trying to do better, this is the first time I ever let God handle a situation for me. But what he did for me, without me and my wife and my family having to lift a finger or a voice or come out and do a whole rant, he just solved it, man. He solved it. So, so, so I need for you to know, man, that, that people are so excited about seeing you sit in this seat. Jesse had several sons, and Jesse thought that all of the boys that looked strong and looked, they, all the boys that looked apart, Jesse, the father, assumed that their looks and their external strength qualified them for the position, to the point that he overlooked his own baby boy. Because his own baby boy was out there cleaning cow boo boo and, and, and junk and, and did not look like there was no way he could be used in any capacity to be king. When they found him, he had mess on him. When he got called, he had mess on him. When God used him, he had mess on him. Now watch this, watch this. David was a whoremonger. David was an adulterer. David was a horrible husband. He was a horrible father. But somewhere in the text, it says that David was a man When did David become a whoremonger? When did David become a, a bad father? When did David become a, a, a man that would, that would kill a murderer and a adulterer? Did he become it then? Like, did it shock God that he did that? Or did God know when he called him? So, 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 so what I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to Christ, that we no longer have to perform for God. We can turn up the show. And we can come just as we are. Because when you come flawed like we come, God knows that I'm going to use the flawed ones because when I use them, nobody else will get the credit but me. See, see man, uh, I, know, I know 
I know that I know they giving me the wrap up, but if you just hold on a second. This your show. Okay, cool. This 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 my show, baby. <laughs> See man um what Thank you, Jesus. What you, Thank what, you. what you saying is so correct. See, Thank you, Jesus. I discovered something over this past month that I had to deal with. And I came away with a new slogan for myself. I was who I was. But I am who I am. And I'm cool with both them people. Because, see, if I wasn't who I was, then I don't know what I got to check. And I don't know what I got to come out of. So, see, don't beat myself up no more about what I was. Uh, I, what I was, I was. I'm cool with him, man. I, 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 but let me tell you something. It's a lot of him still here because he's necessary. Because I got tough when I was out there. Wow. You know, I got I got savvy while I was out there. I got strong while I was out there. And when he took all of that and he tried to turn it around now, he got me got me working another way. Yes, you understand? Yes, sir. But I was who I was. Yeah. But I am who I am, and I'm cool with both them people. So here was the deal is, say whatever you want to say about me, how I was. I got all of that. Yeah, that's me. You understand? I've been, I've been a good dude, though. You understand? I've been I've been doing the right thing. But I, hey, man, I have some stuff sideways, but who ain't? Who ain't? Understand? And, 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 how much we love even our own body and those men and women in our own body, that, that we continue to see that our titles can't protect us. That, that, our, that, that, that our positions can't protect us. Steve, Steve, let me tell you something, brother. Man, I'm sitting here with you. My sister just got out of jail, dog. My sister's staying at a Salvation Army somewhere. Let me tell you something, dog. I live right here in this city. My biological mama lived 15 minutes from me. I don't even know the woman. She ain't got no relationship with me. My real daddy lived right down 45 South in Houston. This man has never done nothing for me but give me a haircut. So when you talk about how God loves to take lemons and make lemonade... So where would I be? Without my struggle Where would I be Without my pain It hurts me every day I got a real mama I got a real mama That don't want a relationship with me That woman birthed me I was adopted That woman gave me up for adoption But by the grace of God I am what I am And I'm gonna do a song called Smile. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a true story. On December 10th, 2010, we taped uh, Celebration of God. Kurt Franklin came in my trailer. Kurt said, Big Brother, I got two songs I'm thinking about releasing. Um, as my title cut on my new album, I want to know what you think, because I know that's what you do. I do music. I, you feel how you want to feel about me, about it. I do music. I know hit when I hear one. I know a gospel hit when I hear one. I know the other hit when I hear one. I know hits. I play them on my radio show. I play hits. If I don't like it, I don't play it. I play hits. Because I've been in music all my life. I know I'm a lyrical. I love lyrics. But you got, you can't just have a beat for me. That's why sometimes rap miss me. Cause if you're, if you're not lyrically correct, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't care how hard a track you got. Kurt bought this song in there, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he played the first one for me. And then he played this song, I Smile. Now in my trailer was my bodyguard, 6637. My other security from the nation of Islam. My business manager, 52. The dude been cutting my hair for 20 years. He out of work now. He cut my hair for 20 years. He in the, he in the trailer. He fit. We grown men. And it was me by myself. And Kurt Bunch said, we men now. When I tell you we men, I'm trying to tell you we men. It ain't nothing soft around you. We do manhood 24-7. We don't take no days off. We don't give it a break. We do manhood. It's all we about. Kurt played this song, Smile. We said, Kurt, play it again. By the time he 
played it the third time. Everybody in the trailer was crying. I'm telling you, real men, hardcore cats. I'm talking about these, you know what I'm saying? They, all my cats ain't, you know, you know what I'm saying? They'll do something <laughs> And that cool dude, that cool dude that's the Muslim brother, he was in that Bible and had to a gospel song, y'all, and crying. But listen to me. God, so. From Nation of Islam. Nice brother. Beautiful. Crying. Brother. Bob Beautiful. in his head. Beautiful brother. You understand? That's how deep this song Smile was. Beautiful guy. Because, and then I took it to my, Kirk gave it to me, and I put it on my radio station. I'm in 64 City. I touch 7.5 million people every day. I took Kirk's song and started playing it. Do you know today, if I don't play, I'm, I smile. I get an email to my Steve, you tripping. You ain't gonna play smile, so I get my day started. Man, I don't care what smile plays almost every morning in my inspirational moment, but I also put smile in the regular rotation. I play secular music. You understand? Know I, pl I play the secular music hit. I make a good living at that. I I'm not gonna quit playing secular music. <laughs> Play Kirk Franklin smile twice, twice a day. It has been the most, and I told him that today he started crying. It has been the most highly requested song on my radio station in two years. We've never gotten this many emails about a song. I got Fantasia, I got Neo, I got Usher, I got all that. The most requested song is Smile. I know it's hard to smile when you've been down, but I sure would hate to see you give up now, though. So I'm just asking you to smile. He wrote a song that's so lyrically correct. I listen to it every day. I done cried so many times listening to this song. So he said, Doctor, what you think? I thought, look at my boys in here. I said, this is your single. Now, what we waiting on is Kurt to release the single. Because I promise you, it'll be the biggest song. When you hear Smile, you gon' understand. Because man, and it they came. just released it on iTunes, so it's on iTunes, and the album comes out March 22nd. Well, let me tell you something. Now, thank you, thank you, man, thank you. No, man, thank you. I needed that, because what was happening to me in my life at that time, boy, I needed to smile. Because my family was hurting, man. I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't fix it for my wife. My children, man, getting ate up, because they in the internet world. You know, the internet, man, is such a devilish place now. I couldn't.